what's going on guys? Today's song is going to be Merry Christmas by Ed Sheeran and Elton John. Just in time for the Christmas season, you can practice this one, play it around the campfire or the fire inside, and play it for all your friends and family at your Christmas dinner. So, let's get into it. If you're brand new to guitar, you're going to want to start with my free beginner crash course by clicking here. Everyone else, make sure to check out my 10 steps to mastering the guitar free training in the description below this video. And with that, let's get into the song. Okay, so let's start this off with the intro. So, we're just strumming individual single strums on each chord before switching. It's just the timing's a little funky to get used to, but let's break this down. So we're going to start and play a C chord for four beats. Two. Three, four, then switch to an E7 for two, and then you switch A minor G for one each. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Next bar is going to be F for three beats, and then C for one. Two, three, four, then to a D minor for two. A G7 for two, and then a C. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So all together slowly for you, we've got this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. And that's how you put those together. You can either count it out to get the hang of it, but then just kind of listen by ear and work out the timing. But you're just playing each chord once before switching, and once you get the timing down, then this is a pretty easy section. And there's that full section. Okay, so starting off with the part played in the verse, the break, and the bridge. So this covers a lot of the song right here, and it's very, very easy. All we're doing is straight down, up strums. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. That's all you're doing, nice and loose and easy. It should be happy and festive and light. Our chords are gonna be all our basic ones. Starting on a C, one and two and three and four and. Then we're gonna to switch to an A minor and do the same thing. And then an F and end on a G. Nothing too complicated about this, just a very, very basic pattern. So you put all four of those chords together and do four beats on each chord and you've got this. And you just repeat that for the entire verse, entire break, and entire bridge, and that should set you off. Okay, so now moving into the chorus, we're going to use the same strumming. We're just going to add in a bunch more chords and change it up a bit, so it's going to be a little more complicated to memorize, but we'll break it down and it shouldn't be too bad. So here's the full chorus. There, there is the full chorus for you. Okay, so let's break this part down. So we are gonna start with the first four chords in the first section of this. F, G, C, and A minor. It's the same chords as the verse, just in a slightly different order. And we're gonna do the same strumming pattern of the verse, just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So that first part is... Shouldn't be too complicated. Where it gets tricky is just memorizing the order of everything. 
So breaking it down, that's the first four chords. The next four chords are gonna be the exact same, except our third chord is gonna be an E7. So instead of going F, G, C, A minor, now we're going F, G, E7, A minor. And here's your E7 chord. That's one you might not have seen before. First finger, first fret on the third string, second finger, second fret on the fifth string. So. So that's the second set of four chords, and then we're gonna end off the chorus with an F and a G. And there you have the full chorus section. The trickiest part about this is just gonna be remembering the order of the chords. Just remember you've got two four chord chunks. The second one, you're just adding in that E7. So here's the whole chorus for you once more. And then you continue on with whatever the next section of the song is. Now the last little thing you're going to want to know to play this whole song is at the very end of the song it's going to go out on two different chords. A G sharp, an A sharp, and then end on a C. So you're playing up to that point and then those last three chords that's what it's going to be. Uh, the simplest way to do this is just use your bar chord shape and move that up. If you are still struggling with your bar chords, you can just leave this part out and just end on your C, and it won't be that big a deal, but if you're trying to be accurate to the song, then you can try those out. And right there is the entire song. And if you can play those parts, you can play the entire song. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to hit that thumbs up button and say hi in the comments below. And subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't already to always get notified of my newest uploads. And if you're looking for a more complete step-by-step -step guide to learning guitar from the very beginning to being a confident, well-rounded guitarist, then you can check out my full program in the link in the description below this video. You'll also be able to ask me and my team questions and get feedback at any time so you always know where you're going, what to do next, and you'll be able to progress a lot faster than someone who's just trying to do it on their own. Link in the description for that, and with that, I'll see you in the next video.